Uh, hi guys, uh, coach speaking, the author of Forex Pro Kakila, uh, Languishi Shamar. Uh, yeah, I'm super tired. I haven't slept in the longest time, you know, hustling and stuff like that let me check something i hope you guys are doing okay so i'll be closing off uh the the nzd trade um that i opened using the one mass strategy and probably tomorrow i think tomorrow during the week i'll i'll do another video showing you guys my results for nfp uh the nfp that happened on friday uh, I'll be showing you guys the results. Now this week is not so busy. Now this week we are. I'm not trading at all this week. Next week, I'll trade on probably on Thursday. I think. Okay. Or the other week. I'm not sure. Yeah. So, anyways. Yeah. Anyways. So I'll be closing off the trade uh, right on this live video. You know. Uh, to inspire you guys those who need inspiration otherwise the rest you can go to hell for all i care you know but otherwise my my day one niggas my day one sisters those who stick with me uh through thick and thin i'm talking to y'all not the baloi yes yeah, so i'll be closing off the nzd trade how do I switch the camera? Oh, yes. Yeah, I'll be closing off the NZD trade. Um, uh, as you can see, it's a demo account. Now, don't panic, man. It's a demo account. It's not It's not real. It's demo. It is, it is not real. It's demo. You can see. Uh, yeah, no, those uh, FBK people, you'll get... Uh, the weekly signals from tomorrow later on you'll get no not today tomorrow you'll get the signals from tomorrow in the afternoon though so um i'll do a video during the week uh, showing you guys nfp results you know i'm all about uh doing miracles doing the the, the impossible you know the impossible simply means that I start off with small amount of money and I transform it. So this account, I've started this account right here with a deposit of about, um, a, what you call, 1,500 rents. A deposit of about 1,500 rents on a demo account. I've deposited 1,500 rents on a demo account. Uh, the real demo by the way it's, it's not real it's real demo there's a difference there's a real account there's demo account and there's a real demo so i'm trading a real demo so the reason why i call it the real demo let me explain let me explain why i call this account a real demo ne? um if you believe that this is a real account it is a real account if you believe that this is a demo account it is a demo account so what you believe is true you understand what you believe is true uh, the reason why it's real demo it's so that people can be able to sleep at night you know and because now if you tell somebody that this is a real account then they wanted it to be a demo now they can't sleep because you have told them that it's it's not a demo you understand so if you believe it's the real it's real you can sleep at night if you believe it's demo it's demo you can still sleep at night so you don't have to to get angry just because it's not something that you thought it was so i'm covering both sides so what so what what makes you sleep at night that's what the account is so everybody's happy i'm happy with my real demo you are happy with your day uh, you with your belief that it's demo uh, you are also you are other, another person is happy with their belief that it's real so everybody's happy there's no need for anybody to be sad we are all happy
Don't understand. That is why I say it's a real demo. So don't don't get confused. So yes, on my real demo, uh, I've deposited uh, one thousand uh, one thousand five hundred rents, and I've made twenty three thousand using Nasdaq. Then after making the twenty three thousand, I've I've made um almost hundred and fifty five thousand rent but now i don't want you guys i don't want you guys to focus on the amount that you're seeing i'll be celebrating my birthday just this coming weekend on the 15th of may uh, do come through my, my hustlers and propaganda so now i don't want you guys to focus on the amount that you're seeing i want you guys to focus on how much i've started with i've started with 1500 rents i've traded two times the first trade was nasdaq i made 23k second trade one minute strategy i've made 150k you understand then that's it i'm done process withdrawal done from 1500 trading two times you know that is the skill that I want you guys to adapt. Like understand. Fuck what everybody says. That is the skill I want you guys to adapt. Fuck the amount I've made. That is the skill I want. I want you guys to focus on the skill. Wait until you see what I've done with NFP. You will see. I'm very, very patient. And the reason why one minute strategy is not about holding, just so you should know. Uh, I'm just I'm just holding. I'm just holding because I'm not desperate. I mean, what is 1,500 rents to me? Actually, let me switch the camera so you can see me properly. What is 1,500 rents to me? Let us start there. What is? It's nothing. To you, it might be something, but to me, it's definitely nothing. So that is why I, I feel so, so much comfortable holding on a trade because 1,500 rents is nothing. I understand. I give out e-wallets almost every day on, on Facebook, on Instagram. I haven't started on Twitter, but it's it's nothing. You feel me? That's like what I spend on a daily on a daily basis. It, it's it's you understand. So that is why I'm very comfortable with holding trades for longer. Because even if I lose, I would not point anybody. So now the problem with you guys is that you get to hold with your last 1500 that's why every time you blow an account you're looking to point somebody and blame them for the decisions that you took i've seen this with market direction people uh, you'd find uh, the the event is a sell now obviously rejections they're part of the game you every you know rejections if you're trading forex if you've been trading for so many years you should know that rejections are part of the the the, the, the game now a person uh, is using lot size one right lot size one they are trading they are trading uh let's say nzd event they use lot size one with 200 dollar account then within 30 seconds they make 250 dollars within 30 seconds they even moved maybe 200 300 points then after doing so they don't close on the trade they want to hold on to it. Then the market rejects on the next minute. Now, it didn't mean that the market didn't go on the direction that was in your favor. You were just greedy enough not to close at the right time. Then after that, when your account blows, you run uh, to your mentor to point fingers, uh, swear at them, tell them how useless they are. But the truth of the matter is you are the one who's actually useless. Your decision in terms of your skill in terms of making decisions is very very childish and i've said this before i've said this before i don't care how old you are i don't care how old you are i'm gonna be turning 26 but i don't care how old you are you might be two times older than me but this is a different world this is not the, ex the life experience that you might know this is we're talking about money here we're talking about finance we're talking about the foreign exchange this is a world that is new to you you understand uh, your life experiences has nothing to do with the craft that just so you should know what you've been through how many children you have how many wives you have it, it you it has nothing to do with the graph you might be old but you can be very, very childish when it comes to trading forex. That is just the math. That is just the truth. Somebody has to tell you guys. I mean, if I don't tell you guys, who's going to tell you? Just Let's just be honest. 
you know you can be old and be childish when it comes to 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 trading it's it's it, it happens why because many people think trading is part of their lives trading is not part of your life your life has nothing to do with the graph you were born finding the graph moving and you will die leaving the graph moving what makes you think that your opinion matters to the graph it doesn't the graph is on its own, man. So your life experiences has nothing to do with Forex in general. So many people have this mentality, they have experience in life. You can be 50 years and be childish. And a 17-year-old can be more matured than you. When it comes to, it's all about mindset. Trading is all about mind, mindset. 10% um, is the practical side of things. You understand? But what matters the most is how you think about the graph. If you are still 40 years old and whenever you lose money on the market, you still point your mentor, you are very childish. Somebody has to tell you. You are 40 years old. You are still pointing a 23-year-old saying, you made me lose, but you are the one who opened that trade. When I, as an adult, as an adult now just think you claim that you are an adult you are a father you have kids but why are you childish when it comes to the market why don't you want to take responsibility for your actions i mean nobody put a gun on your head and forced you to trade nobody forced you to deposit your last money you 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 make that choice that you know what i'm gonna be depositing my last money to this thing now when you lose why must you find somebody to blame Let's just talk about it. Why must I don't understand this? Like a full grown man. How when 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 you start trading from the moment you start trading what comes to your mind? Are you are you always whenever you 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 lose money on the market are you always going to find somebody to blame? When are you going to grow grow up? You claim you are 40 years. When are you going to grow up? Like tell me when are you going to grow up? Because we all go through losses. I personally go through losses. I lose money as well. But you can't see me pointing fingers no matter who I learned this from or who I saw. Because from the moment I opened a trade, I knew what I was getting myself into. Now, this is this is the same as major relationship. You can't go into a relationship and not to expect and, and, and not expect uh, English is running. But you can't go into a relationship and expect not to get hurt. It, 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 it's nowadays things are happening. Now, when you get hurt, so you're going to blame the person who connected you to that partner that you're dating. Let's just speak about it. Now, it's me, coach. I connect you to my friend, Vincent. Now you date Vincent. Now when Vincent hurts you, you're going to come back to me as the person who connected you to Vincent. Didn't you know what you were getting yourself into? So people need to be very, very much matured when it comes to trading. Forex. So many people, full-grown men are childish and it's very disappointing that I have to now double my age. From 26 years, I have to be 52 years old so that I can uh, uh, calm down a full-grown a full -grown man. Nah, man, your childish behavior is very tiring, tire, tiring now when it comes to trading the graph. I have my, my own son needs me. Even my son is not this childish. You guys are very, very childish. I don't, I don't understand. How on earth, how on earth do you trade Forex not understanding the risks involved? That is, that is my main concern. How on earth do you trade Forex putting your leverage, your risk on another person's shoulder? Waiting that when, when I blow money, I'm going to run after this person. What do you think this is? What do you think? You think this is a game, man. You think this is a game. This ain't a game. You need to under, you need to know what you're doing. You need to understand what you're getting yourself into. You need to be matured. A full-grown man crying because they have blown an account because of a signal. A full-grown man. Man, don't trade Forex if you're going to be a child here. Yeah. This, this, this is not a game of age. This is a game of heart. This is a game of patience, man. It's not for everybody. It's not for everybody. It's not... If, if you are weak, if when now you are weak emotionally, delete your Forex account today. I'm telling you, delete your Forex account today. Because we can't go around every day we need to motivate you so that you, can, you don't give up. Nah, man, we are tired. This is very tiring. It is very tiring. It is very tiring. You are...
remember back in the days, our parents used to force us to go to school. They used to force us to go to school. Now we must force you to not to give up. We must force you not to give up on this thing. The only thing that's going to change your life forever. We must force you not to uh, give up if you want to give up. I give up. This is survival of the fittest. It's not for everybody. Go sell her by life. I don't care how old you are. Go sell her by If you are now, you are weak. You are every time. I don't. I hate this thing. Every time you blow an account, you wanna point fingers at somebody. I don't care uh, or, or what kind of signal did you get. But from the moment you take any signal, from the moment you open a trade, you should know that you are responsible for pressing that button. Why must I buy? I be responsible when you are pressing that button. You 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 press the buy. You press the buy using your finger. Using your own finger, but when you blow the account, now I must be responsible for your own losses. What the f what fuckery is that? What 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 kind of what 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 nonsense is this? You're um um man up. I'm gonna give up. I'm gonna quit. That this thing is not for you. Go do your nine to five. This thing is not for you. If if you press buy or sell and you still don't understand why you pressed buy or sell, don't trade forex. It's not for you. It's not for you. Right now we are tired. Ah, we are tired, man. This thing wants you to be stronger than I don't know what, man. This game is fucked up. It's very fucked up. It's not for everybody. It's not. I understand. When you look at my profile, you look at the cars, the pictures, you you get inspired. You wanna get these things. But none of y'all niggas are strong enough to handle what I've been through. None of you guys are strong enough. If I had to borrow you my shoes for a day, none of you guys would survive. So this thing is not about age. It's never about age. I'm telling you. So the moment you click a buy or sell, you should be responsible for your own account. This thing of pointing fingers, bad mouthing people, it's nonsense. It has to stop. If you are like that, you are very childish. I don't fucking care how old you are. Quit, delete the, the, the Forex graph, the, your account right now. Delete it and never come back. This is not for you. This is not for a game for, for full-grown kids. You are, you are a full-grown kid if you are behaving like that. This is not for you. Delete your account and don't come back. Don't come because all of us, we are, we are, we are hustlers, man. We are hustlers. We are, we are, you, I want you to understand. I don't fucking move the graph. If I believe that it's going to go up because of certain facts that I've seen, I believe it's going to go up because of that fact. I'm also hustling. I'm also hustling. I, I'm just taking chances. You can never have 100% guarantee that you'll survive or make money. I'm taking chances. Now, you want to take chances, but at the same time, you want to be safe. You are taking chances using my chance. But at the same time, when my chance doesn't work, we are jigel. You are that is being a snake. That is nonsensical. I don't care how much you have paid, but that is nonsensical. It is very nonsensical. I'm telling you, this is not for kids. And when I say it's not for kids, I don't mean age wise. I don't. I don't care how old you are. We have full grown kids trading the graph. A 45 year old full grown man, full grown. I'm telling you, so you need to understand that as a mentor, I go through a lot, man. I'm tired. I'm tired. I am very, very tired. I'm tired as well. Ay, ay, ay. If I understand the forex, I'm afraid to quit. No, quit. 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 Then us who understands the hustle, the struggle, we will continue no matter what. But I know my soldiers, we are not going to give up until we win this battle with poverty otherwise uh, but wish i will be closing the trade now now i'll be closing the trade uh, from 1500 uh, rands deposit to this thank you Bill. from 1500 deposit traded two times to 179000 rands i'm out international ring 